friends welcome to my channel today in this video we are going to make this heart shaped granny square pattern which can be used for making blankets baby blankets for table cover cushion cover or even for the jackets for the girls so we are going to begin now things that we require for the project are yarn of three colors I am using the leftover yarn for this project a pair of scissors and a hook that could match to the thickness of the yarn so let's begin to begin the pattern take the tail of the yarn make a loop insert the hook and pull through to make a slip knot now wrap the yarn on the hook pull through pull through pull through and pull through these are four chains now we have to go back to the first one insert the hook and pull through there are two loops on the hook pull through both the loops to make a slip stitch foundation ring is ready now chain 1 2 3 which counts as a double crochet wrap the yarn on the hook insert the hook into the ring pull through pull through 2 pull through 2 this is double crochet wrap the yarn on the hook insert the hook into the ring pull through 2 pull through 2 chain 2 for chain space again for the next cluster of double crochet we have to make three double crochet into the ring again for the corner of the square chain two for chain space three double crochet again one two and three for the next corner of the square chain two and three double crochet into the same ring one two and three now chain two for the corner of the square there are one two three chains into the third chain of the fourth stitch we are going to join the stitches with a slip stitch now we have to cut the yarn from here we are going to add color b to the pattern now add color b take the tail of the yarn make a loop insert the hook in pull through to make a slip knot now into the chain space of two we have to join the color with a slip stitch chain 1 2 3 which counts as a double crochet and double crochet 1 2 now we don't have to make any chains in between we have to jump to the next chain space of 2 where we have to make double crochet 1 2 3 chain 2 for the corner of the square and into the same chain space of 2 we have to make another cluster of double crochet with 3 double crochet into the same chain space now without making any chains in between on the sides we have to jump to the next chain space of 2 to make another cluster of 3 chain 2 for the corner of the square and again into the same chain space of 2 we have to make 3 double crochet now this is the another side of the square where we have to make no chains in between two clusters so we have to make chain two for the corner of the square and again we have to make three double crochet into the same chain space of two again we have to jump to the next chain space of two where we have to make three double crochet and chain 2 for the corner of the square and there are 1 2 3 chains into the third chain of the fourth stitch we have to join the stitches with a slip stitch now we have to make single crochet 1 single crochet 2 now into this space between two clusters we have to come with a single crochet now chain 1 2 3 which counts as a double crochet and two double crochet now there are two loops on the hook we have to join color C from here so take the tail of the yarn and pull through two now we have to make chain one two keep this yarn along with your work and into this corner of the square we have to make double crochet one two three 
chain 2 for the corner of the square and double crochet 1, 2 and 3. Now we don't have to close this. We have to leave the yarn of color C, pick up the yarn of color D and now we have to continue with this color. So we have to make chain 2. Keep this yarn along with your work because we are going to hide this yarn behind all the stitches. Chain 2 again. Into the next corner of the square we have to make a cluster of 3 double crochet. This is the third one. Chain 2 for chain space or the corner of the square and again we have to make 3 double crochet into the same chain space of 2. Now we have to leave the yarn of this color, pick up the color C and now we have to continue with this color, chain 2 for chain space. Between these two clusters we have to make 3 double crochet with this color. Now this is third one. Do not close it. Hold two loops on the hook because we have to continue with this color now. Chain 2. Take the yarn of this color along with your work to hide behind the stitches. Now we have to make 3 double crochet for the corner of the square. Now chain 2 for the corner of the square and again a cluster of 3 into the same chain space of 2. Now we have to make chain 2, 1, 2 and into this chain space of 2 we have to make 3 double crochet 1, 2, And 3. Now here we have to switch to color C and make chain 2 again and this chain space of 2 for the corner of the square we have to make 3 double crochet. Now we have to make chain 2 for the corner of the square and into the same chain space of 2 we have to make 3 double crochet. So this is 1, 2, and now we have to join the stitches into the third chain of the fourth stitch with a slip stitch. Now turn the pattern, insert the hook and pull through and chain 1, 2, 3 which counts as a double crochet and into this chain space of 2 we have to make a cluster of 3 double crochet, chain 2 for chain space. Into the next chain space of 2 we have to make 3 double crochet. chain 2 for chain space and for the corner of the square we have to make 3 double crochet 1 2 3 chain 2 for chain space and into the same chain space of 2 we have to make one more cluster of double crochet chain 2 for chain space now into the next chain space of 2 we have to make 3 double crochet 1 2 and 3. So complete the round by making 3 double crochet into each chain space of 2 and just for the corner of the square we have to make 2 clusters with 2 chain space for the corner of the square. Complete the round and we'll meet again when this round would be completed. When the round is complete we have to make chain 2 and now we have to join the stitches into the third chain of the fourth stitch with a slip stitch. Now single crochet one on the top of double crochet single crochet 2 and into this chain space we have to make chain 1, 2, 3 which counts as a double crochet and 2 more double crochet. So this is the final round of the square in which we have to make 3 double crochet into each chain space of 2 for the sides of the square and when we reach at the corner of the square we have to make 3 double crochet 1, 2, 3, chain 2 for the corner of the square and 3 more double crochet into the same chain space of 2 and now we have to continue 
making two chains and three double crochet into the chain space of two so complete the round by making three double crochet into each chain space of two and at the corner of the square we have to make two clusters of double crochet with the chain space of two complete the round and we will meet again when this round would be completed when the round is complete we have to make chain two and now we have to join these stitches into the four second third chain of the four stitch with a slip stitch now this granny heart square pattern is complete now these heart shaped granny square patterns are complete which can be used for making blankets baby blankets for table cover table runner cushion cover and even for the dresses and the jackets of the girls thank you so much